Hey, so today is episode 15 of the Roads of Pro. And funny enough, I just, last video, I literally ended off me coming back home. I'm heading back down past David's house, going to Southern, Southern Jersey. I'm going to Wildwood because it's my like senior week and all my senior friends rented out houses. They're all down there. So uh, a couple of my videos I trained at the Wildwood Attila. So I'm about to go meet up with some friends there in about an hour and a half, two hours and go train with them and spend the day, sort of have fun, just like pretty much before everyone goes to college. So I brought all my food with me. I got rice cakes, chicken, rice, beef, protein. And yeah, about to go head down there and see what happens. Maybe, get a little surprise, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see if this happens. Hey, all right, so we just arrived at Attilis in Wildwood. Um, I'm about to hit a workout, hit a back workout with my friend Frank. Frank, you guys, he's in a couple of my older videos. Pretty much my best friend. He's already here warming up. I'm about to go hit basically same workout my coach does, but with Frank. Hey, what's going on, guys? <laughs> e? All right. I'm gonna do a little drop. Oh, yeah, let's go. Oh, good song. This is like. The real ones know what the song is. There we go. All right, so next workout is gonna be another pull down variation. We're gonna do the super close grip. We're gonna do uh, another close grip variation, mag grip. Basically, we're at the lats and then we're going to some thickness. All right. Where, where, where? Set, once again with T-bar rows as I did in one of my previous videos, more of the recent videos. Um, we got three plates on, we're gonna go for about 10 reps, and then like eight reps and six reps, 15 second rest in between. It's a muscle rounder, sort of builder set. So, yeah, let's get on to that. Perfect. <laughs> Heavy? Just count to like 10.
we're hitting is going to be a sort of top top of the back row. I don't know. Uh, a row for the upper back. When I look at photos of my physique when I was on stage, definitely around the trap area in the upper back. It was lacking a lot of size. So, I've been absolutely pounding the upper back and sort of just like getting thickness overall in my overall back. So, um, yeah, we're about to hit this. This row machine and really just grow that up the back. Staring at the end, but I will not give in. I will, I will fight until the end. Uh, you go first one. Focus. Focus. Come on, we're almost there. Alright. So we're wrapped up the back part of the workout. Now it's time to hit biceps. Frank, come here. Show your bicep genetics. Show what? Your bicep genetics. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, Frank has amazing biceps. Great bicep genetics, so he's gonna lead the bicep part of this workout. Rip off your shirt. Rip it off. <laughs> you look like that guy. Who's that guy we used to say you look like? I can't know. Remember the bodybuilder guy? Uh -huh. um, you look like... <laughs> with the curly hair? Come on. And I look like... Oh, just really... Yeah, that's it. Yes. <laughs> yes, that's it. All right, workout's completed. I'm gonna give a physique update how I look. Nine and a half weeks out. Alright, so we just finished up that back and bicep workout with my pal Franklin. Frank! What's going on? What's going on, man? A really weird encounter with some John Volucci. John Volucci? John Volucci. Dude, there's no way his name is John Volucci. That's like a um. That's a actor. It sounds like a, like an yeah, Italian yeah. actor. No, he literally. All right. So story look, look, look time, him right? Up right now. John Volucci. Whatever. So 
Um, after my workout, I wanted to hit some poses to see how I look because we're nine and a half weeks out. So I took my shirt off, which is understandable. Of course, some people said, like, the guy said, put back on your shirt. So I was like, yeah, just let me get this real quick. He's like, all right, no worries. And then, I don't know, he started, like, rambling on about, what, what are you ramble on about? Dude, he yelled, screamed at you for taking your damn shirt off. But then all of a sudden he's like rambling on about he's a he has a hundred powerlifting world records when he was a kid. Yeah, okay. some big powerlifter guy. So good job, John Volucha. Nothing wrong with you know. You're not supposed to take and your shirt he off. He actually and... is here powerlifting in the picture. Okay, so we're not gonna throw this in. There he is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we're not throwing. Hey, Brittany. Hello there. Hey, look. There she is. Dude. There's. There's the mean girl. I like it a lot, dude. Watch the train car, please. All right, so pretty much wrapped up today. Hung out with all my senior friends I literally haven't seen since school was in session, which was like March. I was gonna, I was gonna stay later for like there was like a bunch of parties going on, but I just had to be home tonight. So and it's a two-hour drive, so it just didn't really work out, but. Yeah, it was it was a lot of fun. Went down here to Attilus and literally the Attilus Wildwood gym is just such a great iron, like good old fashioned gym. So it was great to hit that up. So yeah, that pretty much concluded today. I was I was gonna go to some parties and just hang out with all my senior friends because I haven't seen them since like the whole quarantine thing and everyone's doing their own thing, so and I was at Dave's for so long, so yeah, I was gonna stay over, but I gotta be home tonight. It's a two hour drive back home, so heading home now. Party start in like an hour. Tonight, I was actually going to get a lip tattoo, but I just realized how stupid it was going to be because, like, I can't even show it. So, didn't get that, but this camera battery is about to die. I got to get onto this drive and be home at, like, 10 at night, so I'll see you in the next one. All right, so I decided last minute, I was already driving home, and I was, like, I just had this weird, like, universal energy. Just, like, I just had a weird feeling, right, to go back to the party. So I decided, I literally drove and I sort of turned around, came back, hung out with all my friends, sort of partied. I mean, I don't, I'm completely sober. I don't really drink or anything like that. So I hung out with all my friends, good time. Definitely was worth it to turn back. Um, and I'm in Brittany because there was places to sleep in the house, like, but there was, they were all occupied. I, I was like, I'm like one of the last people to go to sleep right now. So time is, you can see that. 3.52 in the morning, camera battery's about to die because I don't really have any other batteries to charge. But I was sleeping in Brittany tonight, which I think's illegal, because I remember like a fr I knew someone that slept in the car and they were drunk and that's like, you're not allowed to do that, but I'm sober, so I think it's okay. Um, window cracked, I'm about to sleep in here. Hopefully it's a comfortable sleep and I'll see you in the morning. <sighs> Mm, focus, please. And good morning, I think. I I slept in my car for, I want to say like 5, it's like 9.30. Woke up at like 9. Um, definitely not ideal. Not ideal at all. I'd really like to take a day off training, and I might, but I think I'm, I have to do cardio five times a week, right? I took off yesterday because I had a leg, very heavy leg day the day before. Um, and I was gonna drive my drive from my house down here. It's two hours. So I decided to take off cardio yesterday. Um, so I gotta do cardio today. And the last time I ate was probably around six last night because I got all my meals in. So I think I'm about to go to Attilus to cardio and then go get breakfast and then probably train. Wow, sleeping in uh, Brittany, not that comfortable. I thought it would be a little bit better. Nope, I woke up from intense heat. Um, it was very hot, so I turned on my car from the AC. But I guess I'm gonna go grab an energy drink, <laughs> wake myself up a little bit, do 30 minutes of fasted cardio, and then eat and go train. Wow. All right. Arrived at the gym, clearly. Camera battery on charge. So I'm gonna do my fast cardio now and then hopefully after this I have enough juice so I can record my training and then go on with this workout today, continue the video. 
Wow, all right, so finish up cardio. That woke me up, and my legs are super sore from a leg workout from the other day, and completely fixed my legs a little bit. Woke me up. Now it's time to go get food, sort of rice cakes, protein, that's it. I did not realize how sweaty and gross I am. Typically I'll take a fat burn in the morning, some Yohimbine, but I just had Yohimbine with me, no fat burner. And yeah, I'm gonna go, as I said, get food and go on to work out in like two hours. Rice cakes, bread, English muffins, I could use that. All right, so got back to my friend's house where everyone's staying. People want to sleep literally at three in the morning. I couldn't, I was trying to find a bed, I couldn't find a bed, right? So I want to sleep at five in my car. Come here, it's now 11 in the morning. I'm thinking maybe they're awake, right? No, all of them are still asleep, so I'm in the hallway trying to be quiet. Um, but after my cardio, picked up a salad, a Wawa, chicken, I got three eggs, I get eggs for breakfast, I bought some English muffins. So diet's still on point. Um, just out here, I'm trying to be quiet because they're all still asleep. So I'm gonna eat this, sort of relax, cool down, because that was a terrible night's sleep. And then I guess go train with zero pre-workout today. Not good. Breakfast. Three of those. Oh, okay. So, got to Attila's, right? Completely zero energy, took caffeine, mega dose on caffeine. I'm gonna hit shoulders and arms, talk to my coach, and tomorrow I'm gonna take a rest day, even though I was supposed to do it like yesterday, but I had enough energy to work out, so we're gonna hit shoulders and arms. I don't have anyone to record me, so I may ask just like random people because I wanna get this video out for you guys, so yeah, I'm gonna warm up, hit some shoulders and arms, very light day and head back home and get rest because my body's literally taxed. finished up basically two workouts so far. I did shoulder press, which got 95s for a three by six with the drop set, and then I did side lateral raises. Didn't record much, the side lateral raises, because I didn't have anyone record me, so. I just like a four by 10, and I took heavy weights and just a straight arm side lateral raises. But now, where's the lighting? Now I'm going on to another pressing movement, which is gonna be just a machine press. Jesus. And yeah. All right, so camera battery, camera battery. All right, so camera battery died, charged it a little bit. Basically, that's another pressing movement, just for like a three by eight, 15 second rest. I do that, I do that like almost every workout. It's like the builder muscle rounding set. And then um, I did some rear delts, so now I got some battery left. I'm gonna go hit burnout on some front raises and hit some traps, because I have non-existent traps. <laughs>
currently, literally t tomorrow, will be nine weeks out from competition. Yesterday, I mean, I don't care if people literally say you can't have your shirt off. I'm not saying that I care that I'm gonna continue doing it. If it's me to put it back on, I'll put it back on. Second time at this gym, never happened before. I think this is literally the same guy telling me to put it back on. Never had an issue with the owner. So, interesting guy. Thanks, John. Apple melon. 